What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing WWE 2K20 as a part 2 of the Kinda Universe mode that I would like to call it a challenge series. It's going on for a month, so we are at the end of the week, one day before the pay per view. We are going to have two returns today. We are going to start off the day with a uh, 5 man fatal 5 way match. You can call it a 5 pack match even. So it's going to be with eliminations on so the winner becomes the number one contender to face randy orton and then two people are gonna be added in which i did not show you all in the last episode the win of them is another number one contender and then at the pay-per-view we're gonna be having the wwe championship for a triple threat no elimination match it's gonna be epic because it's gonna be extreme rules extreme rules is just tomorrow enjoy the video so let's start off with the matches. Entering number one, of course we all know the tribal chief. <laughs> so basically, um, I added the music today, yeah, and it was pretty hard to sync up. Trust me, I spent at least 20 minutes trying to sync up balance. <laughs> but like, it's just so tough to sync up these musics. So yeah, well, what do you all think? Who's gonna win? I think the music's also pretty good in matching. So yeah. I think Tribal Chief's gonna win, this is easy competition for him, like you know, just that the Fiend might be a little strong in front of him, I buffed the Fiend to like a 89 overall, I think he was 88 but anyways, that's fine enough right, so Roman Reigns, I think he's gonna win for sure, who knows, <laughs> I don't know, I really haven't, like I didn't play this at all, next is Finn Balor, I've cut the entrances a bit, but I, this one was really hard to sync up man, I really, really had a <laughs> day, like this was the toughest one, to be honest, wow man, I took cut short a bit of it because the other one which I got was for the demon Finn Balor, so yeah, I had to literally take out 8 music videos for these guys, literally, kinda sucked to be honest, <laughs> so yeah, how do you like it, took a lot of time, but it's set finally, I spent about 30 min okay, 38 minutes doing all of this, just this much, and I'm finally back to recording. This part was tough, so that is try to sync it up, but there's a few seconds, I think it's doing it a few seconds late, right? Yeah, maybe it's a bit early. So what do you think? Uh, Finn Balor, is he gonna get buried again? Let's see how he does, as he marches down the ring. It's gonna be tough, because it's an elimination match, so he's gonna need a lot of luck and skill. Let's see if Finn Balor can survive this match. And coming up next is... Oh, this one. I literally synced it perfectly. Like, it's a 100% sync. Man, I really enjoyed his entrance after syncing the music. Let me... Like, I couldn't put these sound effects because I couldn't find it of let me in but I did my best guys at least I matched the music right man this looks sick Ooh. Finn Balor uh, probably I think Finn Balor Roman Reigns is gonna win but let's see right you you can never say but you can say even just that this is bots playing but his whole episode has bots playing yeah trust me and it really took some time my okay, case so really please do drop a like do subscribe do anything <laughs> you can man this really took time <laughs> wow i think i've done a good job with the music i hope my voice is not more than the music i'll do my adjustments don't worry guys i'm not that bad at editing I mean, I proved the point that I'm not that bad. So, anyways, the Fiend Brave Hired. <laughs> the music is covering the announcer. <laughs> if you didn't realize that, I could hear the announcer say the Fiend, that's all. Man, this is one of the best entrances and the most coolest in WWE history. So, of course, it's time to now skip the entrance. I did a really good job at you know stopping the end like the song at when the you know entrances stop like like now that was really good ah johnny gargano another 100% sync like proper one i'm not sure about roman i think it was a bit late 
but this one works perfectly done and I'm happy about it everyone's fan favorite I believe he's been training for 20th match guys what do you all think he says he's at least gonna survive in the top 3 let's see if he's correct or incorrect man Johnny Gargano's entrance is really quick that I don't find it a point of skipping just look how quick his entrance is and there you go he's already in the ring He's like 2011 again. <laughs> Short entrances, but sweet. Man, I'm gonna feel sad if Johnny gets out first. That's gonna be really sad. Like, how do you like this episode? Last episode was a bit like double voicey type of building voices and all that crap. I've done a lot of improvement in today's video. I at least hope so. Oh. His rival, Tommaso Ciampa, of course. Sign board. Yeah, he is. Mr. Slow Walker. Alan Walker's cousin. I don't know how many copyright strikes or uh, anything I'm gonna get this from. But, you know, I just have no idea how many copyrights I'm gonna get. I hope it's zero. Because I don't have copyright intended right now. You know. But, anyways, we will see. This move is actually pretty good. I don't know why when I'm right in the WWE game, I'm not going to match for that. You're going to so well. <laughs> I don't think he's going to win, but he said he's going to win this match. Okay, time for the official match. Roman Reigns already. Johnny Carcano. Oh, doing a warm-up. Referee rings the bell. Looks like Tommaso and Roman are going to fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Regarding that, I forgot to. Yeah. I'll just restart the match. Excuse me. Beep beep. <laughs> yeah, now the match is underway. Oh, yeah. I'm just, what is this checking? Lucky I checked. Also, again, I would be Roman. So the match is underway. The, it's a five man match, so eventually it's gonna turn four man, but for now it's all confusion. Okay, the Fiend and Gargano, we're gonna work on the Fiend, I mean the Fiend really? Gargano and Finn, we're gonna work on the Fiend, but eventually they got confused. Roman has taken the fight to the outside with Tommaso. Now let me remind you, it's not false count anywhere, so Roman, even if he thro puts him through the table, through the barricade, he cannot pin Tommaso Ciampa until unless he drags him in the ring and then pins him. Yeah, that's the rules. Oh, look at Roman. He's acting all strong. Actually, it's really smart on Roman's end. Pick a weak opponent, beat the living crap out of him, stay outside while the others just stay in. Ooh, on the stairs. Come on. <laughs> oh, looks like Johnny's already gotten a beatdown. And he's down. Now from Johnny Wrestling, we're gonna have to name him Johnny Beatdown. <laughs> now it's The Fiend and Balor. Oh, The Fiend is proving a point here today. Now I'm having a feeling The Fiend's gonna win because he's just dominating. He's dominating. He just got Gargano down, and now the f oh my god, he's just dominating Balon. Oh look at that! I didn't check out, but Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Tommaso's actually beating up Roman Reigns. Oh, and now the Fiend's beat. I mean Finn's beating up the Fiend. What's going on today? <laughs> wow, it's like two strong wrestlers between like some really underrated wrestlers. Like out of them, two are just from NXT. Wow, they're working together on The Fiend. That's pretty smart. Johnny Gargano getting hyped up. He said he's gonna survive in the top three, so let's see. Oh my god. As long as he's gonna keep doing this to Finn, I don't think he's gonna survive in the top three, because then he's gonna have to fight The Fiend and Finn. Okay, let's see what Finn reacts to. Okay, Finn's gonna ignore that. Oh. Okay, on the stairs. Every... Like, literally every superstar is outside of the ring. I think they're planning on to do... Okay, I was going to say they're, <laughs> they're planning on doing damage to the opponent. But, Roman and Tommaso inside. Okay. So... Okay, one signal is paying attention to Roman and Tommaso. Look at Roman. Oh. Oh, those elbows. Those can hurt. At the side of the neck. Damage is getting done. He's getting the waist ready for that little spear. Superman punch for the face, of course. <laughs> oh, the back. The back is getting damaged. Oh, the Fiend is fighting off Gargano and Finn Balor. Oh, and Gargano. 
He's trying to save Bala. Russian leg sweep. Oh wait, what happened in the ring with Tommaso? Okay, he's still in anyways. I was gonna say, okay, I think I missed the spear. <laughs> so now Wyatt is getting double teamed on and <laughs> what was that? Roman just missed a shot by a wide range. Oh, Tommaso, that knee to Roman's face. Is that enough to put it away? Is that enough for Roman? Nope, that's only a one. That looks like an awesome move set. I had to turn off my fan so that way, you know, the fan noise does not come in my mic. Again, just for y'all. <laughs> oh, I thought Roman's gonna roll out. Again, the fiend is still getting beaten up. He's taken a good amount of damage from both. Oh, okay. Okay, they still wanna beat the living crap out of the fiend. And inside of the ring, we can see Tommaso. Oh, spear to Tommaso. Out of nowhere. That was out of nowhere. Is that enough to put away Tommaso? Two, three. Yep, that is. Tommaso, the first guy to get eliminated. He literally said he's gonna win the match and he's the first person to get eliminated. Well, Bala, Bala? Where did I say Bala? Wow, that sounded odd. So, well, Bala can at least say I'm not buried that much. <laughs> Ooh, Bala's feeling the strength, huh? <laughs> Johnny Gargan. Oh, the fiend thrown away. Roman Reigns is just dishing it out on the fiend. Like, literally. I think a bigger target would be Roman Reigns right now. Because he's the strongest out of everyone. Then maybe both the cruiserweights can do the same teamwork on, you know, Ro like, uh, the fiend. Because the fiend was easily getting down. Ooh. The fiend was taking a lot of damage. Oh, is that enough to put away Johnny? Nope. Two, one and a half. Bala looks shocked for some reason. <laughs> oh, a punch to Bala's back. And, oh, a Harakarana. Didn't sound surprised, I know. Wait, who's that? <laughs> Anyways. Oh, what a punch. Oh, another Fiend's taking control. Fiend and Johnny taking control. Switch roles, huh? <laughs> oh, on the post. Why doesn't he use the stairs? I think the stairs... Oh, I know why. Because the head... Oh, and now he goes on the post and Finn Balor getting slammed. Is it time for Finn Balor to gain control? Or is Gargano trying? Oh, and a punch to Room I mean the Fiend. And now on the stairs. Oof. Johnny lifting up Finn. Finn Balor hasn't taken that much damage compared to Johnny. Though he's taken more, but Johnny's back is a bit down. I think that's both of the Fiend. Oh, backbreaker to the Fiend. What's Johnny trying here? The Fiend now taking the upper hand. Oh, I think that's a Falcon Arrow, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't seen wrestling ages. Oh, Finn Balor kicks out. Actually, I thought he was not going to kick out. Wow. Surprising. Because I think... No. Okay, he hasn't taken light damage even. To his back. Mainly. Okay. Finn Balor looks a little good momentum-wise compared to Johnny. And in damage-wise... He's, they're both kind of like a tie, to be honest. Yeah, the Finn, somehow his body resistance is more, I think. That's because he's a cruiserweight and he's used to it, but then that, maybe. Oh yeah, wait, there's this one feature that makes it harder to damage your body parts. I don't know that. Oh, what's Finn going for? Is he going for the dropkick? Yes, he is. Dropkick to Gargano. And his back is broken. It's broken. I think it's it. It's over for Gargano. His back must have gone for sure. And what's the fiend trying? One, two. Whoa! Johnny actually bothered kicking out. And he's getting up even. Oh! The fiend going for Sister Abigail on Roman Reigns, the tribal chief. And the pinfall. Is that enough to put away Roman Reigns? Okay, the referee's down. Roman Reigns has a lot of time before the referee gets up. Three. That's more than a three, dude. And now Roman Reigns kicks out. That could have been like a 5 count, I think, at least. Oh, and the Mandible Claw. Okay. Roman Reigns is struggling. Oh, what did Finn just do to Johnny? Johnny's taking a lot of damage. Meanwhile, the Tribal Chief is struggling inside of the ring. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, did he fade? What's happened? I think Roman Reigns passed out, but the Fiend left him? To pin him, I guess? What's going on? Is he gonna kick out? Three, oh my god. The Fiend has got rid of Roman. Can you believe it? That same Roman who survived one Mandible Claw and two RKO's before getting out on the third RKO. Wow. 
Oh, Finn Balor. Finn Balor taking damage now. Johnny is even taking more damage because the Fiend just dishes out a lot of damage. Oh, Roman's gained consciousness. Yeah, I think he's gonna go over there. <laughs> Can't do anything. <laughs> so now it's down to the Fiend, Finn Balor, and Johnny. And unless these guys work together and get rid of the Fiend and the Fiend, my God, for <laughs> missing the Fiend and then fight, then they might have chances. Or else it's just gonna be the Fiend dominating both of them. Oh, Johnny actually fighting. Oh my God, what a! <laughs> I don't know what's that called. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Johnny's going for the what was that called again? Gargano trap or something like that. I don't remember these moves, but that's his finish. Oh my God, the Fiend tapped out. The Fiend tapped out. It's between Johnny and Finn. Johnny and Finn. Oh, Johnny and Finn both miss a shot. Oh, Finn Balor's all hyper. What is Johnny trying? Oh, that's a comeback from Finn Balor. Johnny Gargano might be out the sling blade. Oh, my God. Finn, don't pin him. No Finn. Oh, my God. I think that's enough to put away Johnny, though. One, two, three. Yes, it is. Finn Balor's won it. Can you believe it? Wow, what a match. This one was actually surprising to how much I've seen it. If Johnny did not work on defeating the Finn, the Finn, really, the Fiend alone, Finn Balor wouldn't be taking this win, kind of, but Finn deserves it. He's also done a lot of work on the Fiend. It's not just been Johnny alone. This was one heck of a match, and it was really surprising. At the end of the day, Finn Balor comes with the win. What a match. What a match. He's going to face Randy Orton, and let's find out who are the next two, next contestants. Next two contestants are going to participate to become the number one contender in the WWE Championship match. Can't wait to find out. Keep watching, guys. There's no ad break, sadly. <laughs> All right, keep the ad if there's ad break. But anyways, see y'all in the next match. So now it's time for the last match of the day. Oops. I chose Christian. I um, was sitting all night thinking, should I really choose Christian? Should I go for Edge? Is it for Hulk Hogan? So many other options. I can choose one of the DLC special characters. But I ended up going with Christian because I feel like he's really entertaining. And I really like him. So I thought he was choosing him. And the second person, of course, is going to be a different person. But I really like Christian to be honest and I am rooting for him in the match. Of course I can't say that the second person is equally good but I prefer Christian. Let's to be honest. So yeah, um let me deepen my voice so that we become better because this match took ages to record, okay? So I told you I'm not playing but as well you can see the running options there. But every time I played this, every time the other person would just run in. And like Oh uh, dude stop it. Or to like try restarting my game. Eventually I came up with the solution that I'll become second person so that they don't run in. And I think that was a fine idea. Okay, so please. Don't say that I'm playing with someone, you know, because I don't play as horrible as these people in you know, the game. Okay? Like it's bots man. It's like almost like two cables like yeah, who's gonna play a tables match with bots? So we'll just not bother even trying to program them. Dude, this was a pain in the bike. Yeah, that was on purpose. Yep, it's John Cena. I know many people are not gonna like this one, but I. Uh, of course, my controller disconnected. Yeah, anyways. So, I felt like John Cena would be the better man. Like, we want to see an oldie named Hulk Hogan fight when you have this guy who keeps improving himself with Arsenal. Like, of course, I do not agree with his new finisher and so for the attitude adjustment but again again I just, I'm just saying now he's just made underrated first he was overbooked well, he should have overbooked but then like he eventually started improving and that's why I was like okay I'm, now he's doing good he was really overbooked before to be honest he hardly had a good arsenal I really like his that springboard stone cold stunner. That used to be awesome. Yeah. 
Enjoy because John Cena is coming in. So one of these two are gonna win this tables match. I don't know if you'll re realize but there are tables lying there. This is a tables match and I already said that that one will play a tables match but you know as I just said that the two came I thought thing oh my god. So yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, I would be more happy if he really returned in the blue So yeah. Let's get directly into the match, boys. So there we go, the match is underway. I put it into a bot, like, you know, the player. Now, if you're like, wondering why is it so abrupt, you didn't get to see the, you know, bell ring or anything. Well, I suppose this is the fifth match, which I have restarted. So, um, basically, the bot stopped responding in between and they just not moving I tried putting my control into them to move it move the table this is the spot just put the table on top of the guy and that's it it's got confused this guy throws the guy like on the table and you know Christian threw John Cena on the table in the corner and John Cena goes in the corner as if something and then the, the bots didn't know what to do so this has happened a lot of times and most of the times I've seen Christian dominating John Cena but this time as you can see John Cena is just going after Christian Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. I really think I'll skip to some interesting part. Maybe I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think it was this whole tables match. Yeah, this is me from the present, kind of present future, you can say. Actually, this whole tables match was bugging. Trust me, they're just fighting here in the ring. Then they go outside fighting, then they're just dragging an opponent like then just throwing them instead of dragging them. Then they go fighting outside. What not keeps happening? Dude, <laughs> was it was just bugging <laughs> watching this. Like really. But it's fun after all because there's been an upgrade in this match. And like not in the match mainly but in the video. And the matches are even looking better. I'm sure it'll be better if I play them. <laughs> Let's skip. So now we're here in a bit interesting part, you know, yeah, well, you can count that as a break, I guess, well, these guys were basically fighting outside, punch, 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 Christian Belly got anything of John Cena, and I don't think he did even, he tried to get something, but he couldn't follow up, and now it's all John Cena, Christian rolled out, and then John Cena goes out, and they again have a fight outside, and like, oh, Lord, save my soul, and yeah, John Cena is basically dominating, unlike the last matches. So, well, I think Christian would have won the last matches, who knows, but this time we have to see who wins. So, yeah, now we're back from the break, and now Christian just took the lead by slamming Dorimon, aka Joan Sina. It's face, okay, well, now he's making a comeback, looks like he's all hyped up, and, oh, the backbreaker, oh, Christian's trying to take a lead finally, he has taken a bit lead to be honest, so, yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that, the reverse slam on the table. His butt must be pain after this. He's gonna have a butt surgery. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you know I'm kidding, right? Yeah, thank god you know that. Anyways, let's take another break to when it turns interesting, yay! Now we have John Cena fighting off Christian. Who put John Cena on a table and yeah. Basically now Christian again gets back into control and Half of this match now, it was like John Cena and the other half becomes Christian and then the ending, you'll need to watch till the ending of course to know. And here's where Christian's basically screwed. His signature is not moving into a finisher. So you cannot put it and the bot does not know how to climb up in the top rope and jump and break the table. So that's the whole story of what's going on right now. Yeah. So now we have John Cena back in the lead, he put back the table, they put the table in the corner and then had to fight with the table and now John Cena put it up again while he's finally battered Christian. He also did his finisher move, that little punch thing and now wait, no 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 way, he's going for the AA, no way, AA, okay thank god the match is over, I'm feeling like a celebrity after the match is over, I'm more happier that the match is over than John Cena himself. Oh, look at this butt searching part. <laughs> oh man, this match actually took ages. 
and I have recorded this before I did the uh, before I bought the laser beam skin. Yeah. Oh, I didn't say that. Anyways, yeah, because for editing purposes I had to do it earlier because I really wanted the quality to be better. So yeah, get ready for the pay per view. That's gonna be awesome. Trust me. So easy winner, John Cena. So now guys get ready for the pay per view. We're gonna be having John Cena versus Finn Balor versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship in an Extreme Rules match. Then we're gonna have Johnny Gargano vs Tommaso Ciampa and The Fiend vs Roman Reigns. That's gonna be epic man. Three matches for the pay per view. I hope it's gonna be awesome though. Yeah, Christians were a bit of a back injury. So yeah. But wow, this was an actually fine match. So I hope the pay per view is better and this doesn't happen. I'm never gonna do a tables match again. Bye guys, like, subscribe.